Yep. James McDonald and James Cummings. Well, it's a beautiful race for her. She's obviously suited uh, back to her own sex. Um, at set weights, where she's the highest rated horse in the uh, in the race, she's peaking fourth up. She's drawn in the middle, which is perfect. Perfect. It gives her op- options and has to be hard to beat. Lighthouse, number two, Jamie Carr for Kieran Maher and David Eustace. Well, she's done a great job, this preparation. She's been up forever. I'm just not sure if she's got another peak performance left in her because she does have, has had a busy schedule. Hand's drawn a little bit tricky too, Ronnie. Not sure she's going to get the right running transit. Yeah, here's Ice Bath, number three, Karen McAvoy and Brad Widdup. What a beauty. Uh, she was uh, f- fantastic again last week in the Doncaster Mile in similar conditions to this. Loves the track and distance and set to run boldly again on a backup. Yeah, just a little bit unsure now after watching the last race. She'll be back off a tricky sort of barrier. Just not sure she's going to get the speed and um, they just don't seem to be hitting the line from back in the field. Nimalee, number six, Damien Oliver, Matt Smith. Yep, close up, honest again in the emancipation where she was confidently supported. She'll be around the mark again. Come off their backs at Newcastle like he was going to win, win easy. Chipped along nice. Um, we'll get a nice run from the soft barrier. Promise of success, number seven, Hugh Bowman riding for John O'Shea. Deserved her win in the uh, Group 2 emancipation. She... Hasn't been tried at a mile in Australia, but it's the right time to try because she gives every indication that she'll run it out. Yeah, very tough win, I thought, up there. Didn't have a great acceleration, uh, come from back off them, but really liked the way that just pinned the ears back. Didn't win by a big margin, but got there none the least. The Angelic number eight, Timmy Clark on for Gay and Adrian. Ripper mare, rarely runs bad, place chance again. Yeah, should push on from a tricky sort of barrier, either sit outside lead, maybe 1 1, but um, nice tough horse. Uh, now, Anna Visto, number nine, Rachel King riding and looking for a group one double on this card. Uh, Mick Price and Michael King Jr. Well, she's a Victorian mare. She started a short price favourite at Newcastle and wasn't far away. I just got a little question mark whether she runs the mile right out here. Yeah, got quite keen up there at Newcastle too and we'll probably need to get a little bit of cover and relax a lot more to get the mile. Quantum mechanic. Damien Lane for Price and Kent Jr. Well, this is the long shot for me. Um, total forgive at Mooney Valley there, second up uh, in an on pace dominated race. Did run uh, a place in this race last year, third up, peaking. Uh, the Victorians have had a good carnival and they've got a sneaky little chance here as well. Now we go to Steinem for Mar and Eustace. Tommy Berry is in the saddle. He's another Victorian with a real knockout chance. I, I thought she wasn't suited wide, no cover at 1,200 metres first up. No hesitation, straight taking her straight to a mile here into a grand final, and, and uh, it's worth throwing into everything you do here. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with the barrier, Ronnie. Um, I know it's jumping from 1,200 to a mile. Just not sure where the horse is going to settle. Lalude number 13, Brock Ryan riding for John Thompson. Yeah, disappointing um, up in distance in the opponent last time. Previous uh, win at this track in distance was good. Uh, look, it's just a tougher race today. Yeah, and he's drawing a very, very tough barrier here. Um, nav- navigated the horse really well. Two starts back here and one, one as he liked, but um, just again, really, really tricky barrier here today. Here's the unbeaten Yonsei, Johnny Allen for Mara and Eustace. Yeah, well, what do you want to say about her? Beware of the unbeaten horse. Six from six, hasn't made a mistake. The heavy track is the gamble. She's won her only attempt on a soft. It was only a soft five. Uh, we'll learn a lot more about her today. She goes more forward from barrier one. Fan girl number 15, Brett Navdala, Chris Waller. Well, do these all these horses drawn out wide come to the outside outside fences a pack here? And she's a, a candidate for it. Her, Ice Bath, Steinem. There's a, there's a host of them drawn wide that we're worried about here, but uh, do they get into a pack and find that fast lane out wide? Don't know. Uh, she may well do. I think Brenton Abdullah had that in the back of his mind, but I think Nash might have beat him to the punch, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, Brenton ventures out there again the same as what Nash did in the last. We've got uh, Barb Raider, Craig Williams, Jerome Hunter. Yeah, another uh, very honest Victorian, untried in the heavy, so that's the query. And never been kissed, Regan Bayless on for Gay and Adrian. I'm desperate to back her on a dry track. She's not going to get one. Um, yeah, I, I have to oppose her only because of track conditions, but I reckon she looks well and she's going really well. That's a look at them as they go out. Uh, Brad Widdup has uh, ice bath. Do you reckon Nash will have started something here? Yeah, I think he's put the spanner in the works for sure, but... Um 
Look, we're drawn out there and we'll be probably coming down somewhere. I don't know if that far, but um, we'll just see what happens. Her, she's had plenty of uh, days out uh, where she's earned big money, but you're just chasing that, that, that stakes win. The invitation win was great, but the stakes win is what she's lacking. Yeah, for sure. Um, look, you've just got to be the best horse in the day, and we, we haven't got there, but she's been terrific. And um, Look, I'm sure it's going to come, and just got to be patient, but, uh, you know, <laughs> she's getting near the uh, end and the start, but, um, you know, look, I'm more than happy with her. Maps well for her. Uh, just the track's playing a little bit tricky. She gets better with racing. She does. Um, you know, she likes these high-pressure races. She likes getting here, out to a mile, and um, we're always mindful of that, and she, she peaks well, sort of four fifth up. Good lucky. Thanks a lot. Brad Widdup. We did that interview on the outside fence of the uh, Theatre of the Horse, just in honour of Nash there, Corey. <laughs> oh, I really like number 15, Fangirl. I've always been a big fan, but I noticed Brad Widdup said that um, he took a, a, a trick out of Nash, uh, sorry, Nash's book, but I think it's the other way around. I think Brendan Abdullah's had that in his mind pretty much all day that he's going to get out there on Fangirl. Just really love this horse. Um, she's a terrific win up there at Newcastle and doesn't map ideal for her, but now that I've heard Brenton, he's going to head towards the outfit side fence. I think it's going to be much better suited. I'm one, three, seven, and 12. I'm going um, with Colette. I think she's beautifully placed here uh, at the set weights. Class mare, ready to peak on the right day in the right race. I think ice bath is the big danger. I think she might come to the outside fence because she'll have passengers out there as well. Seven promise of success off a good last start win and 12, 12 Steinem and Quantum Mechanic. They're the, they're the two long shots here that I'm specking. One, three, seven and 12. Glenn? Yeah, well, she's getting out uh, late here. Colette out to $3.80. That's easily the best price she's been all day. And I don't think she's finished there if you're a Colette fan. Still, you've got probably five minutes uh, here to bet. We've got to her at three eighty. Ice bath into five dollars fifty now, so she's in a full point off her best today. Three runners at eight dollars. Fan girl, lighthouse. Her best has been eleven, and Yonsei. Uh, she's just out a fraction today, so eight each of three there. Promise of success, very very steady around the twelve dollar mark all day. Anna Visto off a best of twenty three is now sixteen. Then a good jump to Barb Raider and Steinem twenty six a pair. Nimely and Vangelic, 31 a pair. Then you go to the bottom one, never being kissed at 34. And they're still coming. Quantum Mechanic, 41. Lelude, 61. And that is them all for the Queen of the Turf here. But 380, your favourite Colette over Ice Bath and three other runners in single figures. Still, as I said, a fair deal of time to have a wager here on the Queen of the Turf. Yes, let's get over behind the gates. Ali Mosley is having a look at the runners for race nine. Interesting tonight, Greg. A couple of them have elected uh, to go and have a little bit longer of a warm-up. They actually look like they're having uh, a little bit of track work this morning. They were working in unison there. That's Barb, Raider and Never Been Kissed. They've just cantered off and they're just slowly moseying back, just taking in everything, having a look uh, at the surroundings. Uh, Anna Visto is getting a little bit up on her toes, but she's pretty switched on. James has just cruised over over here on Colette. He came straight over, walked her over, as he always does on the Bockle, very nonchalantly. She's having a good look at everything, but as James always does, just relaxes them really nicely. Uh, Steinem actually um, looks great, has come over here in good order. Uh, just, Anna is just getting uh, still up on her toes a little bit. She's just with the pony at the moment. Uh, ice bath. Uh, normally she has a good canter out, and she hasn't done that today, so... She's come straight over to the barriers and she's not getting above herself by any means at all. Yonts is the only horse that is getting quite warm here. The rest of them all in pretty good order. Well, Ronnie, it's a given that more than one jockey will come to the outside this time. I would think so. You know, it's the mile start. Um, so it's, you're still going to be able to handle it to a certain extent. But, and uh, yeah, I, I just think it's probably a no-brainer because these horses are drawn wide. I know there's a long run down that back straight and... It does. It looks a fast enough race, so it's the, it's probably the ideal situation is get on something's back and slipstream it, and then come out with them um, without having to be the one that heads out there on your own and drags the pack out there. So it'll be a fine line. It'll be a little bit of a cat and mouse game here. It'll be a very interesting race to to watch. And I'm sort of waiting for someone to say, okay, you, you're really do, overdoing it now. I'm going to stay hard up on the inside fence, save the 
the five lengths and come the last, pull everyone's pants down like Jimmy Cassidy used to do in the old days. Because uh, that third horse, the Queen Elizabeth, has stayed pretty in the closest runner, Mount Popper, and he saved the ground. So there's a fine line here. All right, well, what would C.W. Brown do? I'd probably stick to the fence like Jimmy Cassidy. Stick to the fence. Head to the outside. A mile here for Sydney's Queen of the Turf Stakes. Let's get up to Darren. They're loading away. This speedy filly never being kissed will be one of the front runners along with Vangelic. So the stable mates load in together. Here's Quantum Mechanic and Anna Visto. Most of it keen at Newcastle last time out. And Ice Bath, second pick in the market. Ice Bath going forward. Kerry McAvoy. Bar Brader at Big Odds about to link in. Along the Vinery Stud winner, Fangirl, in the All Cerise. Brenton Abdullah this time. And the last three now, Steinem, Lelude, and the favourite, Colette. For Sydney's Queen of the Turf Stakes, Group 1 over a mile. Our last group, one race today. Didn't Nashville Villa light up well Ramwick coming down the outside fence to win on Think It Over at Big Odds in the Queen Elizabeth running down Zaki. All set now. Light is on for the Queen of the Turf, ready to run. Racing. Fangirl in the second half of the field early and Vangelic jump well together with Anna Vistale. Lighthouse away well, moves up into a clear third at this stage, followed by Nimalee improving from Barb Raider. They're followed very deep out to Lude rolling forward on the outside of Promise of Success, the Yonsei of the Rails. Quantum Mechanic just drifting back through the field now. On the outside of Never Been Kissed is well back. Two lengths then to Colette Icebath down to the rails. Two lengths to Fangirl and Steinem last about 16 off the lead. So it's Anavisto in front by three quarters to Vangelic at the thousand. Lighthouse gets into a terrific spot on the outside of Nimalee. They're followed after two lengths then to Lelude on a three wide path on the outside of Barb Raider. Then the unbeaten Melbourne Mayor Yonsei back on the rails. Two lengths further back in the field to Promise of Success. Then Never Been Kissed. Quantum Mechanic 3D. A length and a half then to Ice Bath followed by Colette and McDonald starting to feel for the favourite a long way from home. Steinem second last and Fangirl sees them all they've got 550 metres to run Anna Vista leads up from Vangeli the lighthouse has had a good run peeling three wide Nimalee back to the inside Yonsei scraping paint further back to Lelude Ice Bath Colette's dropped out to last coming up the rise Anna Vista running about under pressure and Nimalee's coming off to throw down the challenge and Nimalee draws level with Anna Vista two lengths clear from Vangeli then came Ice Bath running on well it's Nimalee getting the upper hand from Anna Visto, three lengths to Ice Bath, but Nimalee is starting to extend clear with the Queen of the Turf, and Nimalee gets a quick one today. Goes on to beat Anna Visto, Ice Bath third, followed in by Yonce. A gap back to Promise of Success from Vangelic, never being kissed. A gap to Steinem, Lighthouse dropped out from Barb Raider, Quantum Mechanic. Big gap back to Lelude and Fangirl. She's hated the heavy today, and well, Colette never ever got out of first gear. Love. Nimalee. Nimalee, number six, $30.10 and six thirty. Damien Oliver, another Group 1 victory. In fact, for Ollie, that is 127 in an amazing career. For Matt Smith, it is his first Group 1 victory in Sydney, Roddy. Well, you wouldn't believe that. He's just such a great trainer, and this mare has been really so honest and deserved it. And another one to travel on speed. There had to be travelling on speed. You just get off the bit back in the field and you've got no hope in these races. Uh, so it's uh, very hard to make up ground here and she took advantage of that and did a really good job. And Avisto over raced on top of the speed, stuck on. Ice Bath was the only horse from the back to do anything after hitting a flat spot as well. Another group one placing for Ice Bath. That's two Doncasters, a Cantala, of course a Golden Eagle. Uh, 6, 9, 3, 14, the numbers 6, 9, 3 and 14. Matt Smith's four career group ones before today all in Melbourne. His first in Sydney takes it to five. Nimalee wins the Queen of the Turf. Well, it's time for the last race here at Doomben, a Class 6 handicap over 1,200 metres. Smart Image is your favourite. Roman Aureus, the first horse we'll look at here, Maxie, Brian Wakefield and Aidan Thompson. Well, you can never discount him, Bernie. No. He just doesn't know how to run a 